Hi, Nancy Ruby here, and today I am really excited to introduce you to one of my favorite and most effective therapeutic low back series called Pelvic Stabilization. And it's my favorite because not only do I love it, but I have heard so many wonderful responses from students and teachers that I've trained that have carried this on to other places in the world. And wonderful stories have come back on how this has really helped relieve lower back tension. And we know that a lot of people, including myself, have dealt with lower back tension in their life, maybe even injury. And uh, through the healing process, we can do these really simple movements that release tension in the lower back and have brought lots of relief. So that's what we're here to do is to feel good and have fun and live well with yoga motion. So come do a little bit of yoga motion with me now for your hips and low back. Pelvic stabilization. Okay, so we're starting laying down, knees bent. And you want your feet fairly close to your hips and definitely not way out here because we're going to use our feet for some support. So plant your feet comfortably. You could be, of course, on a yoga mat. You could even do this in your bed. A lot of people do this before they get out of bed in the morning. I hear those stories too, just to loosen up the back. So we're going to move the pelvis in all directions. Hands on your hips will help you to identify where that is. And the first movement we're going to do is called hip hiker. So you just slide. I'm going to move my arms so you can see. Slide your hip up so you're squeezing the side of the body. That's my cat, Rascal. She likes to be in the videos. And then you're going to lengthen and go to the other side. So you're just moving your hips side to side. Okay. Nothing's coming off the floor. I'm moving my arms out so you can see me. Just sliding. Squeezing one side of my waistline and then the other. Hiking my hip up, that's the name. And breathing as I do so. Now you want to just go to the first point of sensation. You're not trying to push through anything. You might even feel that one side stops before the other. There may be more tension on one side. That's very common. Just notice what you feel. Your knees stay hip distance apart. They don't do a lot of moving, just a little back and forth. So we do this several times. And then we're gonna stop in the middle. Now the second movement is called pelvic rocks. So I'm gonna push into my right foot to lift my right hip. But notice my left hip just stays heavy on the ground. And then I'm going to drop my right hip, and I'm going to push through and lift my left hip. And then just rock right to left. My knees, this is the important thing, are not going right to left. They're just going straight out away from me. Again, if you put your hands on your hips, you'll feel that hip pointing right up to the ceiling. And then the knee just going straight out. So watch your knees and see that it's going straight away from you, not right or left. So about 10 to 12 on each side. That's a lot of movement, but really slow and easy. It's not about being in a hurry, nothing's fast. Just feel and breathe and gently rock right to left. And we're gonna pause and do the other movement again, hip hikers. So once more, keep the weight of the pelvis on the floor side to side. Sometimes I call this the hula. It's like doing a hula. Side to side. And let your breath flow. You can leave your arms down by your side once you have that sensation. Nice and slow. I was even starting to go a little too fast. Slower is better. I can feel all kinds of things crunching. We have a a lot of ligaments which attach bone to bone across the sacral area between the sacrum and the pelvis. This helps bring circulation into those dense connective tissue. Now we're gonna pause. We're gonna do hip rockers again. So side to side. So it's a different movement. Now your hips, your pelvis is going up and down, right? Like this. Or the other movement, it was going more towards the head and away from the head. So that's the idea, is you're taking the lower back and moving it in the 
lot of directions, but from a very subtle place. And your spine very supportive because you're laying down. Feel your breath. And then pause. And once again, hip hikers. So get that little hula dance going. Feet stay on the floor. Again, watch, glance down. See that your knees are staying in line with your hips. Not going right to left. I can heal and feel that even in my hip joints a little bit too. Got a little tension there, amazingly enough. So just side to side. Repetition is key here. I'm gonna go back now to hip rockers, but stop first you just went like this with your hips now you're going to go like this so rock up and down so this series was brought to me by Paul St. John in neuromuscular therapy we actually used to get up on the table and move people's hips like this but then I figured hey we could do this for ourselves and he actually drew, drew it from the work of Janet Trebell MD who wrote Triple Point Therapy form of taking care of tension in the spine through trigger points, releasing tension. And she did it a little bit differently, but this works well so you can do it for yourself. We're just rocking out here. Again, if you're just hanging out watching a movie, it's a great thing to do instead of just laying there. Give your hips a little release. Pause in the center. Now you can go back and forth again with these two movements, hip hikers and hip pointers. I've done this for 15 minutes at a time, just these two movements. Just working things out little by little. Today we'll just do that many. Okay. There's two more movements to this series. So I'm going to walk my feet out wide. If you have a yoga mat, it would be about the width of the yoga mat. And then I'm going to do what's called single knee drops. So I'm flexing my ankles just so my legs are activated a bit to protect the knee joint. My right knee stays up, my left knee drops in, my hip comes off the floor. And you might not go down this far, just go where you're comfortable, make sure your knee feels safe. And then lift right back up. And now the other side, so I'm dropping in, this stays up and draw back in. We're only do one series of this, just one series. Now the pelvis is going more at an angle. Just feel that. Notice where you feel it. Go to the first point of sensation. Breathe. Again, about 10 or 12 times. Pause and the last movement, walk your feet in about pelvic width apart. And this is called double knee drop. So if you've ever come to my classes or my workshops or retreats, you'll know that this is something I do practically every class. I always end my yoga practice with it. So I'm going to take both knees and drop them to the right, but my feet are going to stay in place. No picking this foot up, leave it there and just. Draw the tailbone in, you can even lift the hip a little, and then reach out. And get a nice stretch all the way through the side. Then the head comes to center and relax, bring the top knee up, this is really important. Top knee up until it pulls the other leg with it. You have to let those knees open. And then come over to the other side and squeeze through. Top knee up first so that you're lifting more with your hip joints rather than your lower back. That's key. Because we just did a lot of work to relax the lower back. So let's keep it that way. Just roll gently. Right to left. You can turn your head opposite. Then center. And then if you want, you can even add the arms and really stretch it up. I like to do that. Feel the motion and then decide when you're ready to stop. I mean, you can count if you want, but I think you just know. It's 
side to side. And then when you do stop, come right into center. I like to shake it all out. And then rest. You can just drop your knees in, hands on your belly if you want to keep your knees bent. Or you can stretch your legs out. Do a little shavasana. <sighs> Relax. When you come out of this position, laying on the floor, it's best if you roll onto your side first. Because that way your lower back again can relax. You're staying in that relaxation mode. And then when you're ready, use your hand for support and leave your head down. You're going to peel yourself up. And there we have it, pelvic stabilization. So have fun with that, do it regularly, and let me know how you feel. Thank you for joining me. Nancy Ruby with Yoga Motion. Namaste.